Okay, so apparently when recording from your phone, if someone calls you, it stops the recording. It doesn't pause it. So, that is um, going to be interesting how I can piece that together. So, I'm going to go ahead and let that dry since I'm working with one hand. And let that dry and go ahead and add yellow here. And then I'll put a layer on there, go back over this green, and then go back over the yellow. Or do the yellow and then add a layer. Go back. Oh, let me see. Yellow here. Go over the red, go over the green. Yeah, that's what I want to do. And this yellow shouldn't be too bad as far as layering because this is the heavy body. As you can see over here, it is really thick. Look at that. That's nice and thick. See how dark and thick it goes on? This is definitely only going to take two coats. Some of the other ones have taken more than two coats. I don't know why I like tedious projects, though. Like, I don't have other stuff to do. But I tend to make tedious projects when it comes to painting because it, I find it to be quite therapeutic. The layering process. This is a flat um, brush, regular small flat square one. It's um, by Royal and Lang Nickel, and it's a R. I mean, it's a nine three fifteen. It was a set. Came with a set of other flat brushes. good for getting sharp edges. I love it for that. Nice sharp edges. This paint could be watered down just a bit. Just to loosen it up a bit because it's really thick. It's, it's like really not moving the way I want it to. There we go. And most of these are going to be Monarch butterflies, so I'm going to kind of do that basic black line, you know, veins going through the um, the wings. Um, some of these will be more intricate with other splashes of color. So, my chair keeps squeaking, it sounds like I'm... I remember one time I was recording live and somebody thought I was passing gas. I kept telling them, no, it's the chair. And I never thought, like, what are they talking about? This chair sounds like it's a squeaky chair. But when you do sudden small moves, it's when you hear the little squirt. <laughs> to this day, they think I was farting. Okay. There's a yellow one. There are going to be more. I just wanted to go ahead and start doing some of the filling in the color of the white. Because it was just driving me crazy to come in every day and see this painting. And see these white butterflies on our face that almost made it look like flowers. But it just looked crazy. I hated it. It still kind of looks floral. But, um... 
Yeah. This is better to me. So, as far as... I mean, this painting is not going to get done tonight. It's not going to get done tomorrow, but... Um... I want to see some progress on it every day. If I had time to just sit here and do this all day, it would get done a day. But, I mean, it would get done a lot faster. But I have so many other things that I also have to do. Today was laundry day. Then, you know, my mom comes over. It's like I have to visit with her. And my niece... I mean, if it were my home, you know, it'd be different. I would probably have a studio upstairs where I can fellowship with other people. Or in a space where I can fellowship with other people. You know. I'm not liking that. Oops, I didn't even have a camera on there. That's the thing about recording and painting and holding the camera. I accidentally went outside the line there. It's not going to be too obvious. <sighs> and adding that same layer over here. Honestly, it looks as if this is not the same color red, but I think what it is is I still have a little bit of that yellow one there. But I'm actually okay with it. And having that yellow one there actually made it a lot more um, opaque. And the paint. Yep. This like that. That's gonna need another coat. The Fatalo green, especially on this particular one. This one is that's good. These two, definitely this one needs another coat. So I'm going to go back over to this green and add a coat on both sides. Never be afraid to get too much paint on your brush. I used to tell people, I used to, I learned that even as a nail technician when I'm, um, I did nails many, many, many moons ago. That was the one thing that they taught you, you know. Don't be stingy with the polish. You know what I noticed, though? When I go to Asian nail shops to get my nails done, when I used to get them done, um, when I used to wear acrylic nails, they would be very, actually very stingy with the polish. <laughs> They would try to put those coats on as thin as possible, wiping all that polish off of the brush back into the bottle. And I never understood why. I guess it was to save money, but it just makes your job harder. If you actually do a good job the first time, your second coat really is just catching anything you might have missed a little bit so you're not using as much you're still not using that much product perfect and you see all these little white corners they're going to be hidden because i'm going to go around with shadowing and outline and all of that good stuff Now that I, let's see, what am I going back to do? Back to the yellow. Wet my brush a little bit to wet this paint up. And got it all on there good.
see apparently it's not still not as broken down and creamy as I wanted it to be because it's still really chunky. I want to get more soft body acrylics because I, I I work on I love working on wood. Last I recently did a let me think I did three no just two paintings on wood and I mean I've done more but two that were major like beyond experimenting on wood and they turned out amazing. And I love showing that grain in the back. So it's like you either water down the paint, which to me kind of somewhat loses some of its toothiness. Although I, I, I do do it. I shouldn't. I don't think I should. I don't know. I like the heavy body. But I guess heavy body, you can water down to some degree. But um, hmm. I think I'm going to put another coat on this one as well. I think all of this need another coat. So, so I won't bore you. I'm going to just stop now. And pick up later. Because I'm just going to give all of these another once over. And I'm going to tweak the shine on her face a little bit. It's a little too obvious that that is white there. And that light reflecting. Plus she needs some blush on her cheek right there. And all of this is going to be shadowed around. So there will be some darkness and value there. And um, I think I'm going to just fill her in a little more. Because she's still very transparent. You can see the words and the writing underneath. Which I don't mind. Because my other two paintings are like that. Other three are like that. But... Mm -mm. And I have to define her hand to make it look like a real hand. It did come over here, paint this one. I kind of left it blank because I still may not. But what I, I think I am going to go ahead and paint her in and put a B. This will only be the place with the B because you know the B has been in the last four pieces that I've done that were actual B she's. <sighs> Excuse me. What time is it? Yeah, I'm just. Look at the time. It's 7:25. O'Shea, huh? is it 7:25 or 6:25? 7:24. Okay. Yeah. So time is right on the computer. I didn't know whether it automatically changed or not. So I'm gonna shut this down. And when you, I'm gonna pick back up when you see me doing something a little more different than just painting same color onto the same butterflies over and over again. Bye.